गुड मॉर्निंग डेयर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू द ट्रांसपोर्ट टॉपिक विल बी कंटिन्यूड एंड इन दिस सेक्शन वी विल डिस्कस नाउ डबल सर्कुलेशन देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सर्कुलेशन सिंगल सर्कुलेशन एंड डबल सर्कुलेशन सिंगल सर्कुलेशन मेनली अकर्स इन फिश वेयर हार्ट पंप्स ओनली डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड देन इट गोज टू द लंग्स गिल्स सॉरी इट गोज टू द गिल्स फॉर ऑक्सीजनेशन एंड देन इट डिस्ट्रीब्यूट टू ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी सो इट इज कॉल्ड सिंगल सर्कुलेशन वेर एज इन ह्यूमन बींग्स इट इज डबल सर्कुलेशन वाई इट इज कॉल्ड डबल सर्कुलेशन बिकॉज टू कंप्लीट वन सर्कुलेशन द ब्लड पासिस थ्रू हार्ट ट्वाइस मीन्स टू टाइम्स ब्लड पास थ्रू द हार्ट टू कंप्लीट वन सर्कुलेशन हाउ द फर्स्ट सर्कुलेशन यू जस्ट लिसन एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द राइट ऑरिकल receives the deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body through vein in superior and inferior vena cavi then it comes to the right ventricle and when the right ventricle contracts the blood pump into lungs for oxygenation then oxygenated blood through left auricles comes to the left ventricle which blood vessels bring the blood from lungs to the left auricle as i told earlier pulmonary veins so one circulation from right auricle to the left auricle and again left auricle to the right auricle means blood from right ventricle leaves the heart and comes to the lungs and again blood comes to the left side then pump throughout the body means the blood passes two times through heart to complete one circulation one from heart to the lungs then lungs to the heart and then the rest part of the body so first type of circulation where lungs are involved that is blood passes from right auricle to the lungs it is called pulmonary circulation and then blood passes from left auricle to the left ventricle then rest of the body parts it is called systemic circulation pulmonary sir pulmonary refers to lungs pulmonary term refers to lungs so in pulmonary circulation only lungs are involved whereas in systemic circulation the whole body parts are involved so it is short circulation it is long circulation so the blood passes twice through the heart to complete one circulation so it is called double circulation now come to the next important topic function of the heart function of the heart function of the heart is the heart beat also called cardiac cycle heart beats और कार्डियक साइकिल द 
the rhythmic contraction and relaxation of heart muscles constitute heartbeat the heart muscles never take rest it starts working when we were only 4 weeks old in our mother's womb and it lasts till the last bit so heart muscles continuously work without take any rest from where it gets stimulus we are coming to that point after a short while before study that we will know about the cardiac cycle the heart muscles rhythmic rhythmically contract and relax and the contraction of heart muscles is called systole contraction of heart muscles systole and relaxation of heart muscles is called diastole means one complete systole and one complete diastole constitute a heart beat or cardiac cycle it continuously works it never stops the stoppage of function of heart muscles means death of the individual heart beats 72 times per minute it is equivalent to pulse rate means one heart beat requires 0.8 second one heart beat requires 0.8 second it is normal however 65 to 75 heart beats per minute is normal but accurate is 72 which is equivalent to pulse rate so in this way heart continuously perform its function now just i promise that i will tell you from where the heart muscles get stimulus for its continuous function so you know heart composed of complete four chambers what is the name of this chamber just i told right auricle yes right auricle and upper right portion of the right muscles upper right portion sorry upper right portion of the right auricle is a specialized group of muscle known as pacemaker it is also known as is a node so pacemaker or is a node provides stimulus or you can say it generates action potential for the heart beat just like it is the main switch and from here the stimulus travels throughout the heart muscles which cause its continuous contraction and relaxation in this way our heart continuously works without taking any rest pacemaker is the very important some of the people they heard ko jo kehte hai pacemaker flat me ko pacemaker lag gaya heart mein what does it mean that is artificial pacemaker pacemaker is present in the heart of all the persons hamare heart mein pacemaker hai aapke heart mein pacemaker hai because without pacemaker our heart can't start working there is no generation of the action potential which provide stimulus for the heart beat suppose ki if this muscles not 
perform its work properly not perform its function properly then artificial pacemaker is required and it means through the battery the action potential is generated which pass throughout the heart muscles and then the heart beats start or heart function normally samajh sakte hain ki it costs too much lacks of rupees can be required to fit a pacemaker in heart of a person to so nature's gift it is a pacemaker is the nature gift नेचर ने हम लोग को ये लाखों रुपए का पेसमेकर दिया हुआ है हर आदमी के हार्ट में टू जेनरेट एक्शन पोटेंशियल सो पेसमेकर इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मस्कुलेचर स्पेशलाइज ग्रुप ऑफ कार्डियक मसल्स प्रेजेंट इन द अपर राइट पोर्शन ऑफ राइट ऑरिकल व्हिच जेनरेट एक्शन पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू हार्ट वर्क और फंक्शन कॉन्टिन्यूसली थ्रू आउट द लाइफ सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द फंक्शन ऑफ हार्ट नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ब्लड प्रेशर ब्लड प्रेशर वेरी पॉपुलरली नोन एज बीपी ब्लड प्रेशर वॉट इज ब्लड प्रेशर वेन द ब्लड पासिस थ्रू आवर ब्लड वेसेस एज आई टोल्ड यू आर लियर दैट in our body blood flows only in blood vessels that is artery veins and capillaries blood is not flowing outside so when the blood passes through these blood vessels it exerts a force against the ball of blood vessels it exerts a force in arteries this force is greater much greater than the veins why because heart pumps the blood into the arteries due to which the wall of arteries face the greater pressure and the pressure caused due to ventricular systole is called systolic pressure is called systolic pressure which is equivalent to 120 mm hg and the pressure caused due to relaxation of ventricles is called diastolic pressure which is equivalent to 80 mm hg atm means systolic pressure is 120 mm hg diastolic pressure it atm 80 mm hg and it is written blood pressure in this form very common 120 by 80 mm hg it is the normal blood pressure of the human being however the normal range is one forty by ninety to one ten by twenty mm hg. It normal blood pressure. How it is caused? Due to pressure exerted by the blood on the walls of arteries mainly. And if the blood pressure rises. then this then it is called hypertension 
hypertension refers to high bp refers to high bp and hypotension refers to low bp low bp person suffers from hypertension or high bp means the blood pressure is more than this range 140 by 90 and if the person suffers from low blood pressure or hypotension means blood pressure is less than this range 110 by 70 minutes. just like diabetes is also known as silent killer blood pressure because sometimes the person affected with hypertension high blood pressure can't feel any type of symptom it is asymptomatic blood pressure rises but person is quite unaware about that it is hypertension condition and sometimes it causes hemorrhage that is due to the high pressure in the arteries the arteries ruptured and cause internal bleeding and hemorrhage which may cause death also it is a very serious condition and it generally occurs after the age of 50 60 years so age people must go through regular checkups their blood pressure and you know that blood pressure is measured by instrument known as a sphygmomanometer. A sphygmomanometer, you have seen, you know, doctor just uh, wrap this cloth and this and place the stethoscope on this artery and then measure the blood pressure that is systolic pressure and diastolic pressure what we call blood pressure so it's sphygmomanometer right? if it looks very big then you may make it as a sphygmomanometer is mano mano refers to pressure so it's sphygmomanometer is the instrument by which blood pressure is measured so blood pressure plays very important role in the circulatory system because if it will not be controlled then it may cause hemorrhages and the internal bleeding which cause fatal in this way we are finishing this topic blood pressure in the next class we will discuss about the ecg and rest of the parts that is lymphatic system thank you